three days ago, so we came out to the dog park to, uh, to lay down in the grass. Uh, like he, uh, he twisted his leg in the van actually because I had some boxes of clothes in there and uh, he started to fall onto the clothes I think and then he tried not to crush them and uh, twisted his leg so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out all this stuff out of the van because it's the second time he's hurt himself on a box of clothing um, and it's been three days so hopefully hopefully he'll be, he gets feeling better uh, the internet t says it takes about a week for a twisted dog leg to heal up um, all right, but anyway, I was thinking about politics because uh, I was listening to the radio and they were talking about uh, the debate on removing uh, "In God We Trust" from uh, public meeting areas and courthouses and stuff like that. And uh, I would say, don't worry about it. Like, I, I like "In God We Trust" is a uh, a traditional saying in our country, and uh, I also think that. Uh, it kind of, it kind of, basically, it speaks of like our human frailty. Like if uh, we have that in a meeting hall, it's like well, let's come together and try to solve our own problems. But if history is any kind of indication, we're gonna screw it up. So let's hope there's a higher power uh, looking out for us, and so that minimizes our mistakes. You know, out of one many, I like the e pluribus unum uh, saying. Here's where the tradition kicks me in the butt. There is, it's uh, it just makes me think of money. Uh, but I like I like the phrase, yeah, out of one many. Well, I mean, out of many, one. The union. Uh, what else? Uh, the rules was talking on his video about uh, not sending foreign aid to other countries, and I think that our world has gotten too small for that. I think that uh, that when you send foreign aid to a country, though, it should be for very specific reasons, and you should be you should get what you pay for. Um, like, for instance, was I think it was Haiti that had the storms, and a bunch of money went over there, and some people straight up put it right in their pockets, and uh, were pretty upfront about it. They're like, was that illegal? Didn't you just give this to me? They're like, well, we gave it to you so you could help your country. And he's like, well, I'm not going to do that. Like. This is my chance to become rich. Like th this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for me, and I'm taking it. I'm I'm going to be rich. No more living in a third world country in absolute terrible poverty for me. I'm done. Mm. So yeah, I think when sending foreign aid, it's like, well, what do they need? Uh, roads rebuilt, housing, um, clean water. Um, well, perhaps we perhaps we should have contracted that ourselves. Got some bids, got people working, paid them as they went, got receipts for everything. Yeah, but just sending somebody a, a million dollars and saying, hey, try to be nice, okay? Try to be nice. Yeah, that's no good. I wouldn't do that. Oh, on a side thing, uh, uh, Mr. Met 40 Ounce was talking about Ron Paul, and so I read uh, two of his books. And uh, talking about getting rid of the military bases I think like reducing our military presence and being a little bit more of like a, a fight smarter not harder idea would be good It'd be nice uh, it'd be nice to use some of those uh, that those that financial resource uh, like you know it's kind of like dial back a little bit didn't Clinton dial back a little bit on the military start shutting down bases and whatnot um, give give some of those bases a rest and then take that money that was going there and uh, uh, get out of uh, get out of the hole we're in financially. I really think here's the other thing too about financial finances. I think the country should be uh, uh, it should be run like a house. You just don't have, you just don't have, you're still not in debt your whole life. You're not a teenager. Uh, their very first credit card and they want a Trans Am. There's like a, the state capital, like the state of Oregon was having some financial trouble and at that, that, that time they also uh, redecorated uh, the capitol building. You know, new couches and stuff like that and donated the old couches to schools, which is cool. But uh, someone said, uh, hey, if we're having financial trouble, what are you doing getting new couches? And they're like, well, this is like .0005% of our budget. And like, it does not matter. If you're in, fi if you're having financial trouble and you find 60 cents uh, um, in some jeans pockets, 
Well, you put that with the rest of your money. Like, you just don't like, well, let's go get some french fries. 60 cents isn't going to solve our problem, but that's how you get into that kind of problem in the first place. You start thinking 60 cents isn't important. Uh, lastly, oh, you know that whole kind of like uh, live and let live, that's the Ron Paul thing of non-interventionist. I think Japan is in, does that. Um, like they come into a country, uh, they want to set up a, uh, a refinery or put in uh, some shipping. Uh, like some docks or what have you uh, in the country so they could uh, they could come and go they could they could bring in goods and take goods out uh, on their own selves and so they spruce up a uh, airport they pave some good roads they put in a uh, ship shipyard and uh, the thing is that's really good for that country and it's good for Japan um, but if that if that road is going through slums that's a thing it's like i think that we can't we can no longer think like i it's almost a matter of biz, business has to also be a form of uh growth the growth shouldn't just start and end with the company and who they do business with um it's like you know, someone owns a wet well of water and then you, you know, come in like with all your buckets and like, I'm going to buy your water, thanks. And then like you're just walking by people who are uh, dying of thirst and crops are withering away. It's like, well, you know, they should do something about that. I think that a good, co a good company had to be like a good person. A good, a good company and a good person shouldn't walk by people who are, are dying of thirst when they've got buckets of water. It's okay, buddy. Take it easy. Uh, I gotta pay attention to my dog now. Anyway, politics. <coughs>